do you feel like uh, the Japanese audience is different than overseas? Mm. Everywhere the audience is different. Like every place, every place has a different tastes. But so, Japan has, I, I would say, maybe the biggest variety of tastes than any other country in the world. Because they like everything. You know, if you want in the 80s, 90s, if you want to become a famous, you need to go to Japan and do a tour here. Like everyone came, famous rockers like Deep Purple, Pink Floyd, they were performing in Japan. They're, it's a famous concert in Tokyo, like for Deep Purple as well. If it's the pop singers, yes, their performance in Japan is also famous. If it's uh, like super complicated, funky style, like, like snarky puppy, they also came to Japan because if you want to be famous, you need to come to Japan. Japanese love everything. There is no... Now, they, of course, they're obsessed with K-pop, but they still love jazz. If the famous jazz musician will come, they will have a full pack, like completely full seats going to be sold. If a famous DJ is going to come, same. They eat everything. You can feed them whatever you want. What is the trend at the moment? But now, like in the ED, like in the club culture, actually hip hop in Osaka is way, way more stronger because of TikTok. TikTok is influencing everything. It's changing the game. So whatever music the people, I don't watch TikTok. I, never, I, I have it. So, I, and I post some videos there, but I never even opened to see the video. So I immediately like skip it. So I don't want to give them algorithms yeah. <laughs> to, to understand what I like or not. They will still, they're not going to figure out. But uh, people are into t in, inside that TikTok. So whatever they see, whatever they hear, they want to hear in the club. They want to hear in the place that makes them happy. And the industry is adjusting for TikTok. The industry is adjusting for these tastes of the audience. Yeah, a lot of hip hop, a lot of Japanese hip hop. Not my style, not my thing. To me, it's, like it's completely different. But yeah, in Europe, I would say that in EDM, the trance is not, not that much, but mostly techno and tech, tech house are famous. But yeah. It's interesting that you're saying now that social media is actually shaping musical trends and that because something becoming popular on social media, the musicians have to adapt what they're playing and, and to kind of maybe renew themselves all adapt. the time. <laughs> Do you think a, a musician that is just performing one style is going to have a hard time nowadays to keep performing if they don't maybe... In Japan, no. In Japan, definitely the audience, if you have your audience, it will stay with you forever. They can listen to one song for a million times and ask for another million. There's a strong fan culture in Japan. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and nothing like if in our country something can go out of date, it's not going out of date in Japan. It just stays forever. That's interesting. How do you deal with this personally? You said you don't use TikTok um, personally, but you still post there. And now the trend in the nightclubs where you occasionally perform is hip hop, which is not something you too I much I don't know. I just post it because I feel like that something that I should do for promotion. That's all. And still from all my videos I posted on TikTok, the most popular was the classical music with my uh, kind of EDM arrangement that I've done maybe three, four years ago. I recorded video last year. Like vertical <laughs> non-horizontal mm -hmm. way like it's supposed to be done but yeah posted in tiktok and it immediately like got to do, 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 do. like I, it just fit the algorithm is technology uh, beyond social media but actually with the instrument uh, changing as well and affecting violin mm -hmm. so for example these electronic violins probably a few years ago they didn't exist now they came do you think we're gonna see something new soon that will maybe change again no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Like, no, of course, maybe many people like discovering something else, but the violin is not the primary instrument we need to understand. It's not the... For now, DJing being more popular than anything else. You can be a professional musician. You can be, you know, the best pianist or violinist in the world, but people know the famous DJs. 
True. Especially younger generation. Yeah. I would say, I don't know, uh, yesterday I was checking the new stuff that was, that was presented on uh, NAMM. N-A-M-M is the World Musical Gear Exhibition in California. So a lot of new synthesizers coming, a lot of new interesting gear is coming. But it, it always coming. It's always a lot of stuff. You like never end. <laughs> You're checking like I want this, I want this, I want that. Uh, but it's mostly for a live performance. You can perform EDM using live. Without, it's not like just like play and play. No, you can, you know, you can arrange everything like drums and basses and all sorts of plugs and all sorts of synthesizers on the real synthesizers that are around you and you're just doing the professional live EDM performance. I think that might, it was always there. It was always here. People were doing that all the time, but I hope that one day it will be a real, like more a bit of a big in industry, not just DJ playing his famous song, because what did you need to do? Like as when I saw today in uh, Instagram, someone posted the videos from GMO Sonic in Tokyo. You know, the, the famous DJ plays his famous song and until next song he has, you know, a couple minutes of freedom. <laughs> so he just climbs and dying cra craziness on the bulls. It looks amazing. It's a good performance. But he's not playing actually right now. In this moment, yeah. he's just like, you know, it's a pre spreading song. champagne on the people. That's what he does. And people like it. Okay. One thing that is still very popular in Japan and that is completely gone overseas is buying CDs. Yeah. I, I actually wondering why. <laughs> Do you produce your CDs sometimes? No, no, no I don't. No. You no, see, it's... when you walk around uh, in some shoten guys, you yeah, will yeah. see a, a small performer just like singing for a few people and they will have their own CDs for their self-promotion. Even more, they're performing, they're trying to perform in the street. I'm, I'm not into that. No, not at all. Like that's definitely, for, for my point of view, maybe it's my cultural thing, but it's definitely diminishing your values. That's interesting because I just uh, read a study the other day about, um, basically it was about uh, positioning and branding. Mm -hmm. And they took the example of a violinist. Uh, I don't remember his name, but they did an experiment with him. Uh, the guy who was performing in the, in the street with the, f but next day he was, Joshua Bell, next day he was performing in the like... Uh, opera or op something. Not, something it like was that. not opera, it was the... Metropolitan, ah, yeah, Metropolitan Opera in New York. And yeah, exactly that one. And yeah. so he performed and people were paying like hundreds of dollars to see him in the <clears> setting <throat> of the opera and the same person performing on the street and people were annoyed and people were like, oh, he's disturbing my business, but he's a world-class violinist. Yeah, that's right. So the setting matters. Of course. Even like a couple weeks ago, I saw the story. I <clears throat> the, Another like quite famous violinist i follow his instagram he's american but i think with chinese background he also posted similar video because uh i don't think it's completely true it might be just you know he posts a lot of pre-produced videos as if like i'm going on the street and i hear someone playing music i take my violin out and now it's like boom it was prepared mm. <laughs> <clears throat> But with this video, it was it was looking like pretty much naturally. Definitely, if there was some setting behind it, definitely the reaction of the people you can't set up. And the reaction was, there was the guy playing pop songs with some background R&B like on the violin on the street. And lots of people were just having fun and seeing him. I don't know, maybe Europe, maybe America. So uh, he was getting the crowd. And when he stopped for a while this famous violinist with like couple, like millions of followers on instagram and also he's being like a really skilled violinist not just popular academical violinist he just got his violin and started performing like very difficult academical piece and the people were just lose in, lost interest to his music and like okay it was not the crowd anymore the crowd just disappeared because ah, it's okay he's playing something and another time when he moved to the I think he was performing Chacon of Bach, which is like takes years to study. So when he came to the point, 
in the middle of that piece when you play a lot of notes in one second it's kind of fast it's not that hard but it's like a prepared chords but it sounds like like very very much intense reality is it's not that hard <laughs> but looks like wow so much technique the crowd got to get again so yeah setting is important and whatever people can understand it's the same musical piece but people might be interesting in this particular part and don't and have zero idea to the establishing the melody developing the melody how it grows how it works how it changes and then you go to some technical part and they, oh that's interesting that's what i like to listen it's interesting right they see the result but they don't see all the work that got into it yes, and probably course. this uh, very technical part is also a consequence of all the rest building up to it in a way yes 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 that's what i say even and same in the beginning com uh, not within his own performance of one song just comparing uh, the guy who was performing pop music with background with drums on the you know some boombox and the guy who's playing acoustic violin only staying just performing academical music is a huge difference for the people huge difference on their reaction in japan people like the reaction though and street performance is still very popular and usually very quickly you see a small crowd gathering around yeah, yeah. cheering for the person whether it's good or bad i feel like this is kind of community feeling of wanting to support street performance yeah. and i think they just <clears throat> is the feeling of the japanese maybe you're right maybe you're right but i also know how the fan culture works in japan it the people want to become someone's fan which is not like mentally i would say it's not very healthy that i'm not judging people want to be a fan of someone and sometimes they see the performer and they say okay i support you i'm gonna be your fan why i don't understand why you need to be someone's fan maybe you just just be a fan of yourself <laughs> but japanese really need that many many not all of them not 100 percent not but more than 50 i definitely feel like plus minus interesting you have a long history here in japan now quite a few years uh, playing not that long